Somali region of Ethiopia. It's characterized by the boundless desert and the blazing sun. Although the temperature varies a lot from morning to night, a team of engineers from the DC of China have devoted themselves to the construction of Aisha Wind Power Project since 2018, striving for the goal of raising to be a global electric powerhouse. These pioneers spare no effort for the Belt and the Road Initiative. Aisha Wind Power Project is located at the juncture of Ethiopia, Djibouti, and Somali, where the Ethiopia Djibouti Railway and the Highway pass across. In 2018, the construction of foundation of WTG and the substation started. Subsequently, the first batch of WTG arrived to site. It's the first overseas wind power EPC project of DEC. We finally have 48 2.5 MW direct drive WTG with a total installed capacity of 120 MW. The whole power plant consists of substation, groups of wind turbine generator, transmission lines, living quarters, The substation is designed and built in accordance with Chinese standards. The modern substation mainly includes 230 kW outdoor high voltage distribution system, two sets of main transformer, two sets of reactive power compensation system, and the auxiliary high and low voltage power distribution system integrated automation system, control and protection system, WTG monitoring and control system, and so on. Wind turbine generator plays a dominant role in the power plant. Right here is the installation site. After the erection of tower, the cell and the generator. The assembled giant wind wheel is being slowly lifted by the 500-ton corner crane with the help of 100-ton crane. In the lifting process, the wind wheel will be turned 90 degrees before it can be further lifted up. When it comes to a specified height, the wind wheel can be precisely ducked with the generator. have witnessed the erection process of WTG. After put into operation, Aisha Wind Power Project will provide about 467 gigawatt hour of electric power annually for Deridawa Industrial Park, Addis Djibouti Railway, and Djibouti, which will promote development of Addis Djibouti Economic Corridor. The dry season has high wind the gap of electric power will be alleviated when hydropower reduced so that the stability of power grid will be improved 
and more electric power will be exported to Djibouti. Meanwhile, the project has provided over 300 job opportunities in construction period. As mentioned above, Aisha Wind Power Project is not only an engineering project, but also a livelihood project to promote local economical development and improve local people's lives. Let's see how the site manager of EEP evaluate the project. This is the site manager of Aisha Wind Power Project, Mr. Mulukan. Good morning, Mr. Mulukan. Good morning, Mr. Jin. As far as I know, you already worked for EP more than 20 years and have a lot of experience for project management. So, how do you evaluate the ISA Wind Power Project? Very fantastic question. Uh, this power, uh, firstly, this power plant is the first power plant in the Somalia region. Yes. That makes it uh, very nice for the uh, region of Somalia. And it's also in the border of Somaliland here and Djibouti here. So it is good for the power grid system to uh, have a good uh, quality, uh, stability of the voltage of the power grid system. And it has additional input for the uh, EEP uh, as energy resource. As you know, wind power plants uh, renewable energy. So it is uh, very nice for the uh, countries, for the government, for my company, EEP, for the seven jobs associated here because they don't have any uh, power plant in this region. It has uh, social impact, it has economical impact to sell electricity to the neighboring countries. It has also financial impact for my company to sell energy. So it is a very nice uh, project. Thank you for your high evaluation for ISA of the project. Thank you again. You're welcome. Covering 25,000 square meters, the living quarters are located on the north side of Wind Farm, which adds a lot of vitality to this vast desert. Now you can see our office area. All DC staff and technical engineers from the main suppliers are working together in this office. The office is clean and orderly. Of course, it's not designed for this video. The warehouse in living quarters play an important role. Due to the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic, daily necessaries and medicine have been stored here to meet three months demand. In our living quarters, we also set a clinic room. Our doctor can treat common delays and emergency injury. The saying goes, all works no play makes Jack a dull boy. Here is the basketball court and a fitness area, where has some self-made fitness equipment. After the busy work, we can exercise to relieve the pressure. Aisha Wind Power Project Lots of Chinese engineers and Ethiopia employees live and work here. We overcame difficulties again and again to make dreams possible.